Hey guys, it's iTech every week, and today I'm doing a review on a Cydia package called Groove Shark. Alright, guys, so Groove Shark is a package provided by the Big Boss repo in Cydia. Uh, you can download now. It comes with a free trial for, I think it's 30 days, and uh, after that, you have to pay $9 a month for it. But what it allows you to do is download free music. So if we open up the, Gro the Groove Shark application, uh, I found the app pretty cool, so that's why I decided to do a video on it. There has been uh, previous things like Dtunes and stuff like that where you can download torrents for music. The only thing is that Dtunes was made to work with the older firmwares, uh, so anything I think, so I think anything um, from iOS 4 on uh, is Dtunes does not work correctly. So in Groove Shark, right on the top, you got a search bar. You can search for any artist, music, album, anything like that. Otherwise, you have um, a little uh, widget here on the lower left that has uh, the popular title. So you click on this, uh, you'll go through here, and it has all the popular uh, titles and stuff like that. So if you go back to this t the top and scroll over here, here's um, Super Bass by Nicki Minaj. You can tap on it, and uh, if you scroll down, you can uh, see a little arrow that says Make Available Offline. So if I tap this, it'll begin downloading. And now you'll also notice that right here, uh, the download arrow is now uh, green, so that you do know that you are downloading it. Now if I add it to my music, now that uh, little box over here uh, that states the my music, it is now green also. And you can also add it to your favorites, and uh, the icon is right in the middle. Uh, that one doesn't change to green, but you can also see that you can remove it from your favorites. You can add this onto a playlist after you create one. So I tap on this, you have to create a new playlist because I don't have any. You can also share this on um, by uh, Facebook, Twitter, email, or an SMS message. Uh, so uh, that is pretty cool for that. Uh, you can also just go ahead and play this on right now. And then once that buffers, it'll start playing. And I think I got the volume turned down. Uh, here we go, one second. Yeah, I got to turn that up, and now it is playing. So now if we go back to the main uh, page, uh, you can search for an artist. So I'm going to search for Drake. Uh, right, right now it is on the album, so let's go to artist instead. So you can search for songs, artists, albums, or a playlist. Um, so here's Drake. And it is loading all the albums up. This might take a little bit because I am downloading that song right now. Actually, it probably finished by now. Uh, but I have a slower internet connection, so this may take a little bit. Alright guys, so you can see now that all of the uh, albums for Drake have uh, appeared. Uh, and if you uh, scroll on here, it's fine. Um, one, that I, one of the newer ones more. Uh, let's see. There we go, Forever. Forever, I think that's a single actually, but uh, we'll load up the songs. Yeah, there's a few, just a few different ones in here, uh, but here's the main song, so you can uh, access all your music differently throughout all this. You can also go ahead and make it available offline again, and you can see it is downloading uh, by that green icon appearing now. So if we do go uh, all the way back to the main menu. Oh, you also, I want to show you one more thing. Um, also, guys, in here, if I do choose to uh, download this forever uh, album by Drake, I can hit this one arrow right here on the bottom, and that will download every song in there. Uh, but now let's go back to the main menu. And that is one thing I don't like about this is you have to go all the way back. It won't. They don't just have one button to go back to the main menu. You have to uh, keep going through all the pages. Um, it'd just be a nice feature if they added like a button or something. You could go all the way back to the main menu. But now I did download the songs to offline. So if I have offline songs, so my offline songs, you can see these are all the songs that I have downloaded completely, and I can listen to them at any time uh, if I have my Wi-Fi off. So I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to turn on airplane modes. There we go. And uh, now all these songs, my offline songs. If I'm going to tap on one, hit play now. You can see it's still it's uh, playing yet, even though my connection is off. So let's go ahead and turn that back on really quickly. All right. So now, uh, also, when you download a song, uh, just because you download it, it doesn't mean it's in your my, in your uh, music folder. If once you download, it, you have to uh, hit uh, add to my music. So if I go to this song right here, you have to hit add to my music, and then uh, now if you go back here and then you go into your my music folder, you can just hit view all songs, and uh, there you go. Uh, this plane, which I just downloaded and added to my uh, my music, is now in here. So you can experiment with this uh, CD package a lot. There's a few different things in here. You can change up your settings and look at your now playing. There's a few different things in there that you want to check out. Uh, I just want to do a quick review on it, and I'm not going to uh, go in-depth uh, too far into it. That's all, guys. I just want to show you the CD package just because Dtunes does not work uh, for the newer firmwares anymore. Uh, and this seems to be a good alternative to it. Um, except for the fact that you have to pay for it and Dtunes was free. Uh, but it is a good uh, city package. So that's all for now, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and thumbs it up and subscribe for more videos like this. You can also follow my Twitter account for tech updates and my new video releases. And that's all for now, guys. 
This is I Tech every week. Signing out.